Word on the street is De'Ari King went off in last night's scrimmage. That's what we're going to talk about and a lot more. You're watching NFB TV Canes. Let's get it. A special salute for the truth. Sean Taylor. See, everywhere I go, you know I rep that you. You, you. Orange and green from head to toe, that's you. You, you. What's up, guys? Welcome to NFB TV Canes. If you're rocking with the youth, do you know what to do? Hit that like and subscribe button so you never miss a video. I know a lot of people have been asking me, Grant, where you been? Where you been? Where you been? Well, my PC's been down. It's been in the shop the last two weeks. That's why I haven't uploaded a video, but your boy is back giving you that fire Miami Hurricanes content. So like and subscribe. And as always, go in the comments and let me know what you think about this video. But basically, I want to jump on and talk about the Eric King and what happened last night and why I'm, ex why am I excited about this upcoming season. And basically, last night was Miami's last final scrimmage. And what they did was, and I got all this information from the Miami Herald, by the way, got to give a shout out to them because they do a great job. They basically had a mock game where they simulated basically how the game would be for this upcoming Thursday. They gave the offensive team and, hey, you're down 24-0 to create a sense of urgency. And it seems as they responded well. These are the stats that I got from the article on the Miami Herald. They reported that King completed 24-34 passes for 333 yards and six touchdowns. Nine carries, 84 yards. And then, you know, Mike Harley led all wideouts wide outs with five catches, 78 yards and touchdown. Jeremiah Payton had a great night, three catches, 95 yards and a touchdown. Mark Pope caught four passes, 65 yards. Cameron Harris, Will Mallory, and Michael Redding all caught, caught touchdown passes with Michael Redding catching two of those. Hell, everybody caught a touchdown. I caught a touchdown pass. You got a touchdown, caught a touchdown pass. I want to know what was going on defensively, but in all seriousness, that's a good way. You know, a lot of times in this season is an outlier because we don't know how this season is going to play out and what's been going on and what's not. But most of the time they say that the defense will always be ahead of the offense. So for the offense to be looking as good as being reported, as good as being reported, then that is a good sign. I think going into this UAB game, Gary King seems to be as advertised. When you look at what he did at Houston, it really seems like we're going to have a quarterback that you got to keep your eye on at all times, a X factor quarterback. And I think that's going to make a big difference. But I wanted to kind of talk about why I'm really excited compared to how I was going into last year. Now, last year at this point, there was three factions you know there was people who thought Nikosi Perry should be the starter there's people who thought uh Jerry Williams should be the starter there's people who thought Tate Martell should be the starter and going into the season we saw how that basically crumbled we saw how without a true quarterback you know you're our guy we lack the leadership we saw that going musical chairs at the quarterback position back to back seasons how that is a horrible idea and how our team does not respond to that going into this season i feel so much better at our, from our quarterback position and let me tell you why first of all you got De'Ari king somebody who's done it at this level and who we know is going to be a playmaker i don't care what anybody says it's hard for me to look at what De'Ari king has done in the, in his college career look at what Rhett lashley has done in me seeing it seeing this experiment or this him transferring to Miami not work out. I just can't fathom it. It would have to be crazy for it not to work out. So that's the first thing. The second thing is this team knows this is De'Ari King's team. This team is behind De'Ari King. Hell, it seems like after every practice, after every interview, a player was talking about De'Ari King. A player was talking about how much De'Ari King works, how much he leads, when I listened to the Gregory Russo interview that Andrew Ivins did, the first thing Gregory said was how good of a guy De'Ari King is, how much of a leader De'Ari King. And I think with us going into the year, knowing that, hey, you are our guy, that already puts us ahead of where we were last year. The offensive line will be better. I'm very excited about that. Also, let's be real here. Injuries will happen. 
not just De'Ara King at the quarterback position, but I'm comfortable with if anything was to happen, if Nikosi Perry comes into the game, I'm I, I, I'm comfortable. I am I am I'm like okay, Nikosi go in, and why do I feel like that? One, Nikosi is experienced. Two, Nikosi he's used to it. He's used to coming into the games and having to save the day or anything like that. Now, I'm not saying that De'Ara King will get benched. I'm just saying if something unfortunate like an injury happened, I just look at the total quarterback room, and I'm excited about the year. I'll end it with this, and I've been saying this since we got De'Ara King. De'Ara King brings an aspect to this offense that defensive coordinators will hate. Defensive coordinators, they will call their play. Cover three buzz, uh, Oski Blitz. I don't know. I'm just making up some. I've been playing a lot of Madden lately. They will call that play, and that play, that defensive play, could be the perfect play call. And because you have a De'Ara King who can beat you with your arms, with your legs, and he can make spectacular plays, you can call the right play on defense, and you still can get beat deep. And I can't remember a last time Miami had a player that will have the ball every play that you had to game plan from different angles, whether preparing for their legs or their arms. I don't remember it, man. And De'Ara King gives us that X factor that not a lot of teams have. And now we just got to see what this coaching staff can do with them and what we can do with it. I'm excited about this upcoming year. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. And your boy is back with the daily content. I'm out. Peace.